If you're like me, you want to go see your favorite team play at the stadium, but nowadays it's going to cost you a fortune. That's because all the good seats are taken by rich assholes who then sell them to richer assholes who always show up late and leave early. And that leaves the common folk like us to suffer up in the nosebleeds. From up there, we can't tell if we're watching a baseball game or a knife fight. And at a Dodger game, it could be both. So you're going to watch me get into a game without spending any money. I'm Mike Capes, and I call this hack the Grand Scam. Yeah. The hardest part, getting in. And the cool thing is, all we need for this is a baby bottle with baby formula. Now you're just gonna walk up to the front gate with bottle in hand and act frazzled. You can even spray yourself with water to get that sweaty effect. And then you're gonna say something like this. Uh, sorry, I have to get in real quick. I left my ticket and my jacket with my wife and I had to go get baby formula. I have to get this in there as soon as I can. Oh, thank you, thank you very much. Did you guys notice anything about that baby formula? No, you didn't, and neither did security. That's because that's not baby formula. That's a white Russian. And security's not gonna taste something they think came from your wife or girlfriend's tit. So not only do we get in, we got booze. And that's what you call a double play. All right, so all that acting frazzled to get in is gonna get us a little hungry. And you can't enjoy a Dodger game without a Dodger dog. Not only are they super good, they're good for us. So now you're just gonna walk over to the condiment section and you're gonna rub a bit of mustard, ketchup, relish, and stuff all over your shirt. And once you have a good stain, you're gonna walk over to the vendor and you're gonna tell him something like this. Hey, how you doing? I'm not good. And then some guy knocked my super dog on the floor. <laughs> he'd, he'd knock me off. You get the truck, bring it to me. <laughs> he didn't like me. I know. Thank you, sir. Now don't worry, you're not gonna screw anybody over. They have thousands of these things that are gonna end up in the dumpster by the end of the day. So they're not gonna miss one. Well, Sam the dumpster diver might, but he's batshit crazy. All right, so now that you got your dog, you're gonna need something to wash it down. A cold beer ought to do the trick. But who can afford $13 for a light beer that you probably wouldn't drink at some shitty frat party? Let's find some empty seats, preferably next to a guy with a beer. Then just sit down and enjoy your dog. <coughs> Uh-oh, you're choking. Is there anything that can save you? Okay. <coughs> oh, his beer will. Thank you. Well, thanks, dude. It's cool. He cheers for the away team. Okay, last but not least, you need to take home a souvenir. Like a ball from one of the players. All game, they happily throw a ball into the stands so some lucky fan gets a keepsake. Unfortunately, if you're not a child or don't have double Ds, they're never going to throw it to you. So, this is where the sign you made comes in handy. Now, you got to keep it ambiguous because it could be a boy or a girl. Write it like that of a, a child or an adult man with special needs. And then, just do this. Okay, take it easy. I know, it's shitty. I took a ball from a kid. But he wouldn't have gotten it anyway. It's not his real birthday. And now you just sit back and enjoy the game. There you have it. You just hit the grand scam. We got a day of baseball without spending any money. Now you can spend your paycheck on sex. Oh, and remember kids, don't be an asshole. Well, I'm gonna show you how to stockpile a photo library for a social apocalypse. We're basically gonna put together a bunch of photos on Facebook to use as alibis. Let's get started. So we all have places that we have to go to that we never want to go to, like the DMV.